What we're looking at as far as washout and wash in goes on an aircraft like we're building, a giant scale DC 3 from Nick Zroli, it calls for about a 1.5 to 2.5 percent or 1.5 to 2.5 degree washout. That means that the tip of the wing needs to rise towards the back, causing a different angle of incidence than the root of the wing. It prevents tip stall when you're in uh, tight corners, etc. So we're going to look at it as far as the degree change. I'm going to use the difference between the out at the end of the uh, tip compared to the root of the wing right down through there. I'm looking at about a one and a half to two degree uh, change. I've set up a jig to show you how to do that and we'll implement that washout here in just a second. Okay, what we're going to do here then is we're going to actually look at the drop that we have uh, involved in this wash washout. You can see that the um, I've got a board on the back side of it that's got uh, that's parallel, running right down the axis of the wing, and I've got a meter stick on the front that's running right down the axis of the tip. So and you can see the difference in the drop. Now we put a mark on the. Uh, um, back one because the sticks are two different lengths but where he's got the ruler there it actually shows that is exactly the same length as the front one so now he's going to take the pencil and he's going to run down and when he runs down and I stop him a little bit more a little bit more right there a little bit more right there that's the drop that we have in uh, 39 inches in a meter so we're going to record that measurement and we're going to calculate our angle based on that drop. Once we understand what washout is, now we're going to actually show you how we built this in using a little bit of a different technique. What I've done, you can see that I've sheeted the bottom of my wing. I've now got it on my board. It's just a simple Luon, uh, or a Luon door that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cleat it down to the board. I just got myself a quarter by half inch piece of balsa here. I've sanded the end of my wing and now I've cleated it down using a little bit of super glue right here. That holds this end of the wing just perfect. Now also I've sanded, this is a Zoroli plan, so I've sanded my um, trailing edge here of my aileron just right even so that my next sheet that's going to come back down on top of this uh, I've got a piece of wood underneath there, and that's what determined how this end was actually fixed. The other end, we got to determine based on our washout. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other end of the wing that we just did uh, to determine the washout on the wing that's finished. Now, you finish the bottom of your wing first, and then you develop your washout. You, know, you're, you should have been anticipating your washout when you built the frame, but then you sheet the bottom of the wing, uh, and now we're going to f uh, finalize the washout that's on this wing uh, and we're going to do it as we sheet the top and that, sh that top will actually lock in the washout that's on it. Now using exactly the same logic that we used on the other one, we're going to adjust this. I'm putting some shims underneath here to try to lift and adjust this end so I have exactly the same drop that I had on the other one using a straight, a straight stick here and I've checked it to make visually sure it's straight I want to go with exactly the same drop from the bottom here as I had on the other one. We had an inch and a half on the other one that's almost an inch and a half right there I'm just going to push some material down underneath this uh, wing to lock it into place so that it has Exactly the same drop at the same location. Now I've got shims under both sides, and as I adjust those shims up and down, I'm putting twist in that wing that mimics exactly that uh, other side. So now that right there, we are now an inch and three quarters. But on this other side, we're now a quarter of an inch up, so that gives me an inch and a half. 
that is exactly where I need to have that twist in that wing. The other end has been cleated down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this side in. Just like I did on the other one with our um, cleats using super glue. Hold that for a second. And if I put one on each side, a cleat here and a cleat over on this other side, I've got the same thing uh, on the other one. I've now got my washout built perfectly into my wing. It matches the other wing. I'll show you how to do the calculations on that washout in just a moment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw you a diagram, and this may go over your heads a little bit for some of you that haven't had math in a while, but I'm going to show it to you the logic of what we're doing. We had 39 inches along this side uh, of the boards that I was using to measure my washout. I had one and a half inches on that side. I'll write it as 1.5 inches because of the way I'm going to put it in my calculator. Now, what I need to do is I need to calculate the angle of this washout, and we're going to call it theta, the angle. If you remember from your geometry classes, the tangent of an angle theta is equivalent to the opposite over the adjacent. So in this case, it's 1.5 divided by 39. Now, we need to isolate the value of the angle, so in order to do that, we're just going to take the tangent of the negative 1 of both sides, the inverse tangent. Now, on a calculator, it's very straightforward to do. We're just going to simply put in 1.5 divided by 39. Hit your equals button. And on this calculator, we're going to hit the second function tangent button. And that gives us a 2.2 degree angle, which is anywhere from a 1.5 to a 2.5 degree washout is just what we're looking for. So our final angle, theta, the angle of, of the uh, uh, washout, is equal to 2.2 degrees which is within our specs that we're looking for. And you saw how I tried to match both of them so that both angles were exactly the same.